guys welcome back okay so today I played around in this new NYX ultimate utopia shadow palette and the reason why I call it a shadow palette is what I wanted to point out is here on the back of the palette you will see there are a lot of the shades that are highlighted in yellow and with an asterisk and that's because those are pressed pigments which are not legally considered safe for the eye and I did want to point that out but this is what this palette looks like oh my gosh you guys when I saw it something just drew me to these colors it's beautiful cool tone warm tone shadows mattes as well as shimmers I really really like the combination of shades in this palette and how they arranged them I really like it so I did create this look with this palette today of course but let's go ahead and jump into some swatches so what I did for these swatches you guys is I swatched them two columns at a time you know 40 shadows is a lot of shadows to swatch but I did do two columns at a time so I can just show you 10 shades at once and what I noticed with this palette is that the mattes are actually nicely pigmented they don't swatch amazingly you know these aren't the most pigmented shadows I've ever used but I think for a drugstore and to be paying $35 for 40 shadows that this is a pretty decent palette you can see that that pink swatch basically covered up my heart tattoo so I think that um, these shadows are actually pretty decent for the price now the shimmers <laughs> let's talk about these shimmers they are really really pretty you guys very um I don't want to say shimmery but <laughs> they are very very shiny very gorgeous very smooth to the touch so this is what the whole palette looks like swatched now of course you guys know I did go ahead and do this eye look for this video so let's go ahead and jump right in so I started out this look today prepping my lids with my P Louise rumor eyeshadow base and this is in the shade rumor 04 actually and I just kind of tap that in to make sure I had a nice even base for this eyeshadow now to start out this look I'm going into this light gray shade wanted to do a nice cool tone look today so I'm just taking that shadow on a fluffy brush and just kind of blowing it out all over the upper portion of my lid you guys know typically when I start out a look with a light shadow instead of a dark I'm just using that more so as a transition shade so just blowing it out now I'm going into this darker shade it's kind of like a purple toned gray it really looks like a deep plum but it still has that kind of dark gray feel to it so just taking another smaller fluffy brush concentrating that in my crease and what I'm doing is I am tracing out the shape that I want for this eye look you can see I'm kind of dragging it out in the corner so that I can get a nice wing for this look now I'm going back in with that same brush that I used for the gray shadow that I started out with and just using that to blend out the edge of that darker shadow just to make sure it's nice and smooth with no harsh lines now to cut my crease I am using my revolution cut crease canvas today just taking a little bit of that along my lash line looking up to create my cut and going in with a flat brush just to create this winged out cut crease now this brush that I'm using is actually one that I got out of a paintbrush set I was looking for a really nice flat brush and I found this in a set of paint brushes that I got off of Amazon and it worked out well so now going back into that super dark plum type shade I am just placing that on the outer corner following with the nice kind of winged out shape and as you can see I am leaving a negative space because I want to create that double cut crease type look and so I'm just carefully tapping that on making sure I leave that white line in between those two shadows you have to just take your time with this 
Next, I'm going into this darker green. It kind of looks like a black, but it's actually a really super dark kind of forest type green shadow. Tapping that right next to that dark plum type shade and just kind of blending those two and bringing that up even farther up on my lid, but still leaving that negative space for that double cut crease. This is kind of hard to explain, so I hope you guys <laughs> can see what I'm doing. Now I'm going into this really light, pretty teal type shimmer and just tapping that on the inner portion of my lid. And these shimmers are really pretty even without spraying my brush, but it's always good to spray just to alleviate the fallout. Next, I'm going into this. It's kind of like a gold toned lime green shimmer and just tapping that right next to that first shade, blending those together. And I'm also being careful to blend it nicely into that matte shadow. And I was very pleased with how it blended into that matte because sometimes shimmers and matte don't, mattes don't blend that well together, but these two blended in very, very nicely. And this color is buildable. You'll see as I go back in and tap it that it does create a nice, beautiful, bold, kind of gold green color on the lid. Now I decided to go ahead and try out this Kat Von D Inkwell liner that I got in my BoxyCharm. I don't like it. <laughs> I do not like this liner at all. I don't like the applicator. I just don't like it. So this will probably be the last time you guys see me use this liner, but I did want to try it out because I got it in my BoxyCharm instead of just giving it away, but I don't like it at all. I mean, it worked out in the end, but it took way too long for me to create that wing. So moving on to the face to prime today, I'm using my Tarte Base Tape Primer. You guys know I love this stuff, it's so moisturizing, so I'm just using that today. And for my dark circles and discoloration, I'm trying out this JCAT Stay Surance Concealer, my first time trying it out, so I wasn't really sure how it will work out or how much to use but it actually worked out pretty fine it's not I do have concealers that cover my dark circles better than this for sure but I just wanted to try it out wasn't sure if I wanted to use it as a brightener at or to cover my hyperpigmentation but I think that I would probably like it better as a brightener more so than as a corrector now for my foundation, I'm using my ColourPop No Filter Foundation today. Haven't used this in a while. And just going in with a flat top brush to tap that all over my face and blend it out. This is one of my favorite foundations in regards to um, the finish of it and the color. I do like the color, the undertone, as well as the finish. Now for highlighting, I'm going in with my Juvia's Place Concealer. You guys know this is my absolute favorite concealer right now. I think I like this concealer so much because it does have a lot of coverage. The shade really does brighten me up nicely and it's hydrating. It's not drying at all to me and I just really like it. I never have any issues when I use this Juvia's Place Concealer. Now to set my highlighted areas, I'm using my L'Oreal Infallible Powder. This is the pressed powder today and it's the Pro Matte. I really like this powder, you guys. If you haven't tried it out for setting your highlighted areas and under your eyes, try it out, especially with a nice, big, pointed, fluffy brush like the one I'm using. You can just see how it sets really nicely and just kind of, you know, blurs out your skin. Very nice. So to set the rest of my face, I'm using my JCAT Aquasurance Compact Foundation. Just started using this and I found that I really like it. I mean, I really like it. My favorite for the past year or so has been like the um, Too Faced Multi-Use Complexion Powder. I'm gonna have to use it again to see which one I like better because I really like this JCAT and it's affordable. Now to bronze up, I'm using my Alamar uh, Complexion Trio Palette today. 
and just using that to bronze up my face a bit just give me a little bit of warmth and depth and for blush I'm trying out this revolution blush today it is blusher reloaded in the shade rose kiss I've never tried any of their blushes so at least I don't think <laughs> So I'm really excited to try this out today and I like how it performed. It's a really nice, pretty, rosy toned blush, very soft pink, nicely pigmented, but it's not like extremely overpowering. Once again, using my Belgian Waffle Highlighting Palette from BH Cosmetics, you guys, I can't even lie, this palette is nice <laughs> okay these highlighters are nice i mean you see it you see it now going back to the eyes i'm using one of my color pop cream uh eyeliners i don't know the color on this because it rubbed off but it's the lime green really bright lime green just low just lining my lower lash line with that going back into that super duper dark kind of like gray teal type shade and just smoking out my lower lash line with that. I'm telling you guys, it looks like it's dark gray or even black, but you know, once you see it up close, it really has like that teal, hint of teal in it. Going back into that beautiful lime green shimmer and just tapping that in my inner corner for that pop. Sprayed my brush just to make sure I don't get a lot of fallout. For lashes, I'm using these KISS 3D Lash Couture Triple Push-Up Lashes. And this is how they look with this eye look. I like these lashes a lot. And for my mascara on my lower lashes, I'm going in with my IT Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. For lips, I wanted to do something a bit dramatic today to go along with this funky eye look. <laughs> So I'm just going in with a black pencil liner, lining my lips, and just kind of creating a little ombre look for them. And I'm using my Maybelline lipstick. I've had this for quite a while, but it's in the shade Serpentine. Very unique metallic dark green uh, lipstick. Very pretty. I love this lipstick. It's a little bit more green than I want it to go with my lips, but I still rolled with it. And to add a little bit more metallic, I'm tapping on one of the shimmers from the palette just to kind of add that extra dimension of, you know, metallic looking lips. <laughs> so of course I know this look isn't for everybody, but y'all know me, honey, I will rock this. <laughs> so. This is the look, you guys. I hope you like it. I must say, I'm very pleased with this little NYX palette, okay? 40, it's, what, $35, but I definitely think it's worth it for the 40 shades. It performed nicely, and I love this eye look. So, I hope you guys had a good time watching me create this look. Don't forget to hit that like, and I will see you on the next one. Toodles!